Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and um, I got I got a little shock last night when I was uploading my last video. I had messed up and not hit my record, so I'm going to go over two finished pages with you, and then if you're interested, following the finished pages is sort of the preamble to the design. Um, it's not necessary to watch, but if you're interested in process, you can kind of see me flipping through the papers and doing the matching and coming up with um, the papers that I wanted to use for this layout. Turns out that the actual construction part, I turned the video off and I got lots of the preamble ahead of time. So it's, it's just there for anybody who's interested in the process. It doesn't actually show me constructing the page. It just shows me doing the matches. <clears throat> the paper matches. So this is page six and page seven. These are both um, cut aparts from the, the um, 12 by 12 collection pack and they're just matted with black cardstock. So because I'm doing four by four uh, panels um, that close in the front, there's no overlap for the magnet. So that's the purpose of this sort of extension of the flap is to house our magnet here and here. So this is from the 12 by 12, this is from the 12 by 12, this is 8 by 8, 8 by 8, and these are 12 by 12. So that is it for page 6. It's a pretty simple page. These are 4 and a half by 8. Score half inch on the 4 and a half inch side. They get installed to the left and right. So on this one's not, this one I already added to the book since both sides are done. Um, and then this is page 7 exactly the same design, slightly different paper, different cut apart here. And again, this is cut apart and then mounted, mounted on black cardstock. It houses the magnet back here. There's another magnet here. So when you're constructing this, <clears throat> remember to lay this paper down, then add this card. And then, then you wanna um, add your magnet on this side, then dress this page. So the page that actually holds the cut apart will get installed first, both the background and the card. Leave this black card stock until you get your mated uh, magnet mounted and then add your designer paper. And I think that's all there is to these two pages. This is from the 8x8, this is from the 8x8, and this is a coordination from the 8x8. So that's it. Hopefully that's clear. I apologize for messing up on the uh, hitting the record and not actually showing the construction of, the, of this. Again, the, the only um, thing to be uh, cautious of is to get this side or the side that has the magnet implemented first. And then and I added the magnet <clears throat> even before I added the card. And then uh, put your, your secondary magnet in. And we've gone over that process many, many times, but I just want to share that with you. So again, my magnets are both on the outside and these two flaps open toward each other, which is not required. I mean, you could do it exactly the other way where they open out, but the way it's designed today, that, that's the way it's, it works. They open toward each other. Okay, so that's it. Um, yeah, again, I apologize for not catching that on video. And then when I get back, we're gonna finish page eight and that'll be just shortly.
build five.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>